The animation begins by showing a mansion on a hill where there lived a dog named Trouble. One morning, James, the butler, entered Trouble's room to wake him up. Trouble had a strange dream of a butterfly landing on his nose, and he thought the little insect was coming to attack him. Since Trouble was a puppy, he'd lived in the mansion with a sweet, old millionaire named Sarah Vanderhuzzi. Sarah had no children, so Trouble was her only family, and she loved him as if he were her own child. As a result, Trouble became one of the most spoiled dogs in the world. Every morning, Trouble followed a routine. He would meditate with his spiritual mentor, then get his beauty treatments. After trimming his nails and brushing his teeth, Trouble was ready to enjoy a fun day with Sarah. They would often start with a relaxing massage at the spa. Then, Trouble would relax by the pool. And whenever Trouble did his business on the grass, James would spray him with perfume because Trouble hated feeling dirty or smelling bad. During dinner, while Sarah enjoyed her pizza, Trouble got to munch on the leftover pizza crust. Trouble lived a pampered life until one day, everything changed. Sarah passed away, and within a week, her nieces and nephews, who hadn't visited her in years, came to the mansion to collect their inheritance. James greeted them at the door. Claire and Norbert tried to act sad about their aunt's death, but it didn't last long. Soon, they were busy making demands and evaluating everything in the mansion. That's when they met Trouble. He happily jumped into Claire's lap, but she wasn't pleased and told Norbert to get rid of him. And just like that, Trouble was thrown out of his own home. A few minutes later, Norbert showed up with a box full of Trouble's toys. He took out all the toys and loaded them into the back of a truck with Sarah's belongings. Seeing this, Trouble jumped into the truck, hoping to get his favorite toy. But just then, the truck doors closed, and it started driving away. In the mansion's office, Mr. McBain met with Sarah's nieces and nephews to show them a video of her will. In the video, Sarah announced that she was leaving her entire fortune to her only relatives, Claire and Norbert. But there was one condition. They had to take care of her best friend, Trouble. It was her only request. At first, Claire refused, saying she hated dogs. The lawyer explained that if they didn't agree to care for Trouble, they would lose the inheritance. Hearing this, Claire quickly changed her mind. Mr. McBain then explained that Sarah wanted them to spend a few days bonding with Trouble. If they were happy together, they could sign the documents to claim the inheritance. Before leaving, Mr. McBain said he would return on Monday to see how things were going. Then, Claire began making a plan. She decided to pretend to be friends with Trouble just until they signed the inheritance papers. After that, she planned to take him straight to the dog shelter. Meanwhile, Trouble's worst nightmare was coming true. He was being tossed around in the back of the moving truck, his fur was getting filthy, and he felt miserable. He still didn't understand that Sarah had passed away, but when he saw all her precious belongings in the truck, he began to lose hope. Things got even worse when a squirrel ran in front of the truck. The driver swerved to avoid it, causing the truck door to open, and trouble was thrown out. He ended up falling into a forest, and the next morning, a curious squirrel found him. Trouble had spent the night stuck on a tree branch, so he decided to nap until someone could help him. The squirrel called over some friends to get Trouble out of the tree, since it was where they stored their nuts for the winter. A few moments after they pulled Trouble out of the tree, nuts began tumbling from their hiding spot and rolling down a hill. All their hard work was ruined. Furious, the squirrel surrounded Trouble and even took the collar off his neck. After finally escaping the forest, Trouble followed his nose to a hot dog truck in the city. Just as he was eating, he met Rousey, a stray dog who had just stolen the hot dogs and wasn't happy to see someone else eating them. After giving back the sausages, Trouble tried to run away, accidentally knocking over some boxes. The truck owner showed up and Trouble and Rousey took off, eventually getting stuck in a restaurant, making a huge mess. When they got out, they were almost hit by Zoe Bell, who was riding her pink motorcycle to deliver pizzas. Zoe suddenly braked, and one of her pizzas fell to the ground. Since Rousey hadn't had breakfast, she decided to snatch the pizza box and run off, with Trouble chasing after her. At the mansion, Norbert searched everywhere for Trouble, but couldn't find him. So, he and Claire decided to go to the forest to find Thurman Sanchez, a man known for tracking any animal. When Norbert mentioned he needed to find his dog, 
Thurman grabbed some fur from Norbert's clothes and used its scent to figure out all the details about the dog. Claire handed Thurman a photo of trouble, and Thurman promised to find the dog by Monday morning. Meanwhile, as Rousey was eating and Trouble tried to grab a slice of pizza, the squirrels returned. They wanted to steal Trouble's pizza, since he had ruined their stash of nuts. Now that Rousey was full, she decided to let Trouble handle the squirrels by himself. Back in the forest, Thurman arrived in his tracking vehicle. He sniffed around and realized that Trouble had been there. At the same time, Zoe was explaining what happened to the pizzeria owner, but he didn't accept her apology and said he'd deduct the pizza cost from her paycheck. Later, on her way home, Zoe decided to sign up for a songwriting competition. Her biggest dream was to become a singer, but for now, she had to work different jobs to pay rent. Now, her mission was to write a song by Monday. The next morning, after spending the night in the forest with Rousey, Trouble spotted a dog park and got super excited to play there. Trying to get rid of him, Rousey suggested that he go to the park and ask the other dogs for help finding his way home. Trouble eagerly tried to fit in, but was shocked when all the dogs gathered around just to sniff him. Since he'd only lived with humans, he didn't know that sniffing was how dogs greeted each other. Norm was surprised to find that Trouble's fur smelled like perfume, so he called his friends over to show them how dogs usually roll around to get rid of strange scents. Trouble decided to try it too and discovered he actually enjoyed rolling in the grass. Meanwhile, Gizmo came up with a plan to get rid of the new dog. Since Trouble had lost his collar, Gizmo assumed he was a stray. But Trouble looked so clean and smelled nice, which made Gizmo worry that his owner might want to take Trouble home. If that happened, Gizmo would have to share everything. Norm started believing Gizmo's worries and decided to help get rid of Trouble. He told Trouble that without a collar, he risked being sent to a shelter. To avoid that, he needed someone to adopt him, and the best way to get adopted was to stand in front of a car. According to Norm, people would feel sorry for a puppy almost getting hit, so Trouble decided to give it a try, even if it was risky. After almost getting hit multiple times, Zoe appeared on her motorcycle and recognized Trouble as the dog who had stolen her pizza. Feeling sorry for him, Zoe decided to take him home until she could find a place for him. When they arrived at her place, Zoe hid Trouble in her lunch bag so her landlord wouldn't notice. Besides being behind on her rent, Zoe wasn't allowed to have pets in her apartment. Her landlord warned that if she didn't pay by the end of the week, she'd be kicked out. Once they were inside, Zoe opened the fridge, searching for leftovers to give Trouble. He was hungry but refused to eat the cold, tasteless noodles she offered him. Instead, he chose to rub his back on the carpet, just like his friends from the park had taught him. This made Zoe very upset, and she decided to throw both him and the noodles out. A few minutes later, Rousey showed up and gobbled up all the food. She realized that Trouble had been rescued by the pizza delivery girl and offered him a deal. If he helped her get pizza, she would teach him how to survive on the streets. But Trouble didn't want that. He believed that Zoe was kind and would welcome him back inside. Rousey then left, and a group of stray cats appeared from the trash cans. Scared, Trouble began barking, and Zoe let him back in, knowing that if she didn't, they both might end up out on the streets. That night, the dog kept Zoe company as she worked on her music, even scoring a few bites of pizza. Zoe had felt lonely for a long time, but now she had a new friend. After snapping some photos together, Zoe used a ribbon to make a collar for Trouble, so he wouldn't be mistaken for a stray anymore. The next morning, Zoe took him for a walk in the park, and Trouble thanked his dog friends for helping him find a home. Just then, the squirrel showed up, still chasing after Trouble. Seeing their friend in danger, Norm and his gang decided to help Trouble get his collar back. While the animals wrestled over the collar, Thurman arrived and recognized Trouble from the photo. He tried to catch Trouble and put him in a bag, Trouble's friends chased after Thurman, but actually, the dog didn't get caught, and Zoe took Trouble back home. When Thurman checked his bag, he realized he had made a mistake and captured a squirrel instead. So, he asked the squirrels to help him catch the dog, offering them thousands of nuts in return. A few hours later, Zoe went to work, leaving Trouble alone at home. Suddenly, the squirrels invaded the apartment and created a huge mess. Trouble tried to stop them, but they were too quick. After wrecking the place, 
they locked him in a closet. Shortly after, Zoe returned and was heartbroken to find her home in ruins. To make things worse, her guitar was broken, and now she couldn't participate in the competition. Hearing noises from the closet, Zoe freed trouble. Just then, the landlord showed up and told Zoe she was being evicted for causing so much trouble. Feeling guilty, Trouble decided to leave, but the landlord grabbed him and took him to the shelter. There, he found Rousey, who had also been captured. Rousey told him she always knew this would happen because humans couldn't be trusted. She shared how, years ago, she had a family who seemed to love her. One day, the family's child ran into the street and was almost hit, but Rousey saved the child. However, when the parents saw the child crying on the other side of the street, they blamed Rousey for it. A few hours later, the shelter doors opened, and Trouble thought Zoe had come to rescue him, but instead, it was Thurman. He tore off Trouble's collar and took him away. Worried, Rousey watched, and soon after, Zoe arrived. Seeing the sadness on Zoe's face, Rousey decided to help her find Trouble. But first, she had to come up with a plan to escape the shelter. Meanwhile, at the mansion, Thurman arrived and handed Trouble over to Claire. Thurman then asked for his payment, but Claire refused to give him a single penny, which turned out to be her biggest mistake. Back at the shelter, a woman came in looking for a pet, and Rousey realized this was her chance to escape. As the old woman got closer, Rousey started barking, and soon, all the other dogs joined in. Frightened, the woman stepped back and accidentally pressed a button that opened all the cages. Before leaving, Rousey grabbed a leash and headed to the park, where Zoe had put up posters trying to find her friend. Rousey asked the other dogs in the park for help to find trouble, and then brought the leash to Zoe. Zoe immediately understood the message and followed Rousey, along with the other dogs. At that moment, Mr. McBain arrived at the mansion to check if everything was going well between Ms. Vanderhoosie and Trouble. Claire claimed everything had been great over the weekend, and that they'd become best friends. Since nothing seemed wrong, the lawyer believed Claire and began signing the documents. But just before Claire and Norbert could sign, Zoe rang the doorbell and James answered. Zoe told him she had reason to believe her dog was in the house after seeing a poster with a photo of the two of them together. James decided to let her into the mansion. Meanwhile, Thurman met up with the squirrels and came up with a plan to get revenge on Claire for not paying him. The plan was to kidnap Trouble and hold him until Thurman got his money. But the squirrels didn't expect that the other dogs from the shelter, including Rousey and Trouble's new friends, were already out and ready to chase them. Just as Claire was about to get Sarah's fortune, James came in and announced Zoe's arrival. Seeing Thurman, Trouble was thrilled. Zoe explained that she had found Trouble on the streets last week and had been taking care of him since. Claire claimed Zoe was lying, and just then, Thurman spoke up. He said he was hired to find the little rascal and had been searching for him all week. Hearing this, the lawyer declared that the contract would be cancelled because Claire and Norbert hadn't kept their one responsibility, taking care of their aunt's most valuable treasure trouble. Suddenly, the squirrels stormed the room and attacked trouble, but the shelter dogs arrived to help. The animals started fighting, and James left the room. Then Rousey rushed into the mansion and saved trouble, just as his head was about to be caught by a fan. She put an end to the chaos, ordered the squirrels to return Trouble's collar, and sent the squirrel gang running. Trouble was thrilled to see Rousey and surprised to learn that she had risked everything to save him. Rousey told him that his place was by Zoe's side because Zoe loved him so much and had searched everywhere to find him. Finally, Rousey thanked Trouble for reminding her of who she really was. She had hated humans for so long after being abandoned that she couldn't even remember what it felt like to be loved. But when Zoe came to the shelter looking for trouble, Rousey could see all the love Zoe felt for him in her eyes. It made Rousey believe that someday, she too might be loved again. Before leaving, Mr. McBain asked Trouble to decide who he wanted as his guardian. Hearing this, Claire, Norbert, and Thurman all started calling to Trouble but he grabbed his leash and ran straight into Zoe's arms. At that moment, the lawyer explained that Sarah had always wanted trouble to be with someone who truly loved him and would give him a happy home after she was gone. Now that he had found that person, all that was left was to make the adoption official. 
Once Zoe signed the papers, she would not only have trouble, but also inherit all of Sarah's fortune. With the money, Zoe decided to open Vanderhoosie Dog Park, where she placed a statue in honor of Sarah and her dog. At the grand opening, Zoe performed her own song and caught the attention of a music producer who was there with his dog. As the dogs enjoyed their new park, Rousey stood happily by her new owner, James. The animation ends. The moral lesson from this animation is don't let butterflies land on your nose, or you might lose your mansion and end up dodging squirrels in a forest.